Glorious day, Crosschurch family. It is my turn in the rotation to just try and pour into you for the week, and I just pray so these words just hit home with you. And I have a guest today. It's my oldest son, Tarek. Hello. He wanted to speak, especially after uh, Therese joined me back about over a month or so ago. So he just wanted to help pour into you in one of these devotionals. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, sure. <laughs> so I'll let him start off, and then once he's done, I'll come in, because we both have verses that we want to just use to pour into you. I'll go ahead and take it away, son. Okay, what I first want to start off with is... I found this verse, and I felt like it really connected with what we were wanting to go over with. And it is 1 Peter 3, 8. And it says, suffering for doing good, as the chapter name. And it says, finally, all of you, be like-minded, be... Sympathetic. Oh, sorry. Sympathetic. Love one another, be compassionate and humble. I feel like what we need is more humbleness. We need to try and humble ourselves. We need to show love. To one another I'm seeing less of that in the holidays and I feel like it should be the other way around and it just makes me kind of sad yeah we were talking about that just earlier in the month about the fact that the holidays weren't feeling like the holidays this year like we don't know if it was because of our family moving to our new home as you can see by the new office compared to my last few videos <laughs> or if it's just I don't know, we just know about like all the things that are going on in our world, like we are experiencing as we've seen prior, like craziness in things, people doing things on just newer levels that we have not experienced in our lifetime. But regardless of that, we cannot allow the things of this world to change who we are and how we should act with one another. Amen. And that is why I want to read from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. And it goes along very well with Tarek's verse that he picked out. And that is, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. From this scripture, we can see that we need love in all that we do, and that everything else we have, they will cease, they will be stilled, and they will all eventually pass away. And so I'm hoping this week, and not, just not even for this week, but just this entire season, I understand, I truly do, that people are going to be going through moments and days of loss, and that this holidays just bring that out in everyone. And it's going to just cause you to be uneasy. You're not going to want to be still. And I just wanted to hope and pray that this Bible verse, or, or both of our verses, just speak to you today and just pour into you to show that we have to just have that moment of stillness. We need to get closer to God. We don't need to like rely on our own human emotions to try and filter through or get through the holiday season. And just being snappy or ugly with others because we don't know how to take a breather and just come to a moment to rest in the Lord. And it's funny because after Daniel gave his sermon today, he was speaking about the fact of how he held his son Wells. And that he said that Wells was not being very kind uh, the other day. <laughs> and which... That's cool. Every, I mean, we all think Wells is just awesome, but as his dad, I can understand that you're going to have moments where you're like, my kid is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I just want to say that he really spoke to me when he said, Dad, do you feel me when I say this? He was like, because he brought Wells in and he held him and he said he held him for an hour. But during the first part of that, Wells fought with him and he was just 
just not content to remain still until finally, once he finally gave up and just rested in his father's arms, he became still and he found peace through sleep. And I just find that funny because I too also have a father story of that manner with Tarek as well. Because when he was little, he had colic. When he was a baby, I mean, he would, he had colic. <laughs> Sorry. And when he was so little, he would just get restless and crying and just like tussle all the time. And Therese would try to pat his back. And finally, I just said, you know what? Just give him here to me. So I took him. And I was starting to pat him, but I patted him pretty rough. There wasn't anything that was going to hurt a baby, but I was still just like. And everybody who was around, my mother, my mother-in-law, they were like, oh, you're, you're patting him really hard. I said, no, but watch. They're like, but he's getting a little bit of a bounce when you pat him. I said, I know, but watch. And sure enough, as he was all, uh, uh, uh. He was just, mm, mm. yep. He immediately fell asleep just about every time. <laughs> it it started to he started to fight me once he got around two to three because he started realizing what I was doing when I would give him that. But we called that or dubbed it the daddy pat. It magic. was <laughs> it was just the magic hand that was able to just keep him calm and put him to sleep, and it worked on Tegan too while he was little as well. And I just find that funny because like how Daniel said. Do we see, can we see that in ourselves and like how God might be with us? And I completely agree. I think that if we just take a moment, don't let the things of this world that will eventually cease, that will eventually be stilled and will eventually pass away. We need to just let those things go. They will be there tomorrow. Right now, in this moment, we need to have a closer relationship to God. So we can use that to go out into the world and disciple to others and show them the love of God, despite how others may act. Having patience despite others having, having a lack of patience. Not being easily angered, yet knowing everyone else this holiday season or those who are lost might. Let us be different. Let us be the light of this world that the, this world needs. And I just pray that you feel that today, church. So I would just want to pray us out, and then I just pray you have a glorious week. <sighs> Heavenly Father, just thank you for all that you do. I just pray for our church family. I just pray that no matter what season they are going through, that we just need to remember that you are the reason for every season. I just pray today that this message touches someone's heart. I just pray that they just go out and just want to just be a light in this world, despite all the craziness that goes on in it. Let us be what you call us to be, Lord. Let us also further have love and patience and understanding for those around us, despite them not showing to it to us. It is in your humble and precious name we all say, amen. Amen. Awesome. Thank you again, son, for joining me. It was awesome having you, and you all have a glorious week.